Hello, internet friends. Excuse the mess, we're gonna get into that. Um, but today we're gonna be unpacking from a weekend at a cottage and packing for a long weekend in the States. Um, so this is super exciting. Um, first trip in years, I think, that I've gone on. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you along on the packing journey. I just finished arranging my room, so that is the mess that I'm working with. But I'm going to clean up some space and uh, get started on packing. So if you're into packing videos, I hope you enjoy. So on the screen you'll see a consolidated version of a packing list that I generally go off of. Um, so for starters we'll go with electronics, so I am bringing my phone with me, which means I'll need my phone charger. I'm going to be taking a camera with me just because my phone is low on space, um, and I want to document as much as possible on this trip, so I'll need my camera charger as well. And I'm taking my iPad because that's where all of my reservation info is on, um, so I'll also need my iPad charger. In terms of toiletries, um, we are staying at a hotel, but I'm still bringing shampoo and conditioner just because I have long, thick hair, and I find that what hotels offer isn't usually enough. Um, and then, of course, soap, razor, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, um, sunscreen, and tie to go. Um, this is just like sunscreen and tie to go are just like just in case items, but it's always good to have them on hand. Um, and then in terms of clothes, I am overpacking for this trip. I always overpack everything. Um, so some items that I'm going to be taking are a couple pairs of jeans, a few pairs of shorts, a pair of leggings, um, a couple dresses, a skirt, some casual t-shirts, um, swimwear, and then of course your basics, underwear, socks, and I'm not taking a bra for this trip. Um, but yeah. And then I will also be taking important documents so like our passport and currency just because those are kind of important to have when you're going across the border on any kind of trip um, and I'm also going to be taking a pair of slippers a pair of flip-flops um, running shoes and a pair of heels just because we are going to a fancier restaurant um, in there called Olive Garden which I'm sure many of you are familiar with but yeah that's the extent of my packing list for this trip so feel free to screenshot if you found it helpful um, but yeah, to each their own, and if not, you know what, that's just what I'm going off of. Okay, so first order of business is going to be unpacking from my weekend trip, um, to a cottage, which is what you'll see me doing here, and I'm just kind of separating what needs to be washed, what can still be worn again, and what I do want to take on my next trip from this current pile. Let's get packing. First thing I'm gonna to toss in here is my hairbrush because it takes up the most amount of space. I'm also gonna to toss in the scrunchie because it's one I really like. Um, I'm actually gonna put some of the little hair ties along the stem of the brush just because I find like it gets lost really rather easily if I don't. It's just an extra measure to keep organized as much as possible. Plus it kind of looks cute. Um, yeah, a couple more hair ties. So 
So yeah, in case I didn't mention it, like hair ties and hairbrush are first. I have this perfume that I'm debating on taking, so I'm gonna pack it just in case. Always essential deodorant. I like the Dove because um, personally I have eczema and I find like scented deodorants really kind of irritate it, so I like to go for gentle, more gentle deodorant and things, and Dove has been amazing for that. Bath bomb, just in case, um, I don't have a bathtub <laughs> anywhere, so I like to take advantage where I can, though hotel bathrooms and bathtubs especially, not necessarily the cleanest, so don't know if I'll be taking any baths, but always a good thing to have. Can't go anywhere without a razor. Um, this one's the Bic Sol Soleil ones. Um, they're pretty good. I do find they don't last really long, so I try not to use it so much, but it's an option. It's there if I need it, especially if we're doing any like pool or beach days. I know, it's the middle of May. Unlikely. Next up, toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, can't go anywhere without that. And then I also like to travel with one of these. Um, it's just like, I guess like a manicure set almost. Um, but it's just because like I have a tendency to break my nails, so I like to have all my bases covered just in case. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna be doing face masks, so we'll leave that out. And I think that pretty much covers toiletries. Now I'm also gonna pack like sunscreen, um, but unfortunately I don't have that on me. So that'll be a project to remember for when I go back to the cottage because that's where we're taking off from. Um, I just need to remember to pack my sunscreen into my suitcase. The bad boy. Um, so this is the suitcase that I'm taking. Um, nothing fancy, it's just a suitcase. I have two bathing suits in here already, um, so I don't think I'm going to be packing a third. I also have a pair of PJs and some underwear, socks, and microband because we are kind of still like in a pandemic, so <laughs> I like to sanitize everything because I'm a weirdo. Um, but yeah, I just like to make sure I have something to sanitize um, with. I also have a few different sock options. So we have like full ankle socks and the like no-show socks. Um, so we're good on that but We also have flip-flops and slippers over there. But what I am gonna add, just right in this pocket, is going to be Leg is more so just because like I want to keep separate things that I buy um, while I'm there to bring back just because um, with the travel laws it dictates that I can only spend up to well not only <laughs> it's quite a bit but I can only I can spend up to $800 um, I don't intend to but it's nice to know Sorry, my computer is just giving me notifications um but yeah it's just nice to keep everything separate I plan on keeping my receipts and everything that I buy there um but since it is like a road trip we're not really limited on suitcases or like carry-ons or anything like that so it's just an extra peace of mind to make sure like everything that I buy is accounted for and I can go back and like check throughout my three-day trip okay so, now that we got toilet shoes all packed, we have flip flops and sand slippers. We have the emergency duffel bag, or not the emergency duffel bag, the backup duffel bag. 
Um, we got the basics. Now we just need some outfits. I have been absolutely in love, and that is an understatement, with this dress from Torrid. Super cute, super long. Um, in fact, I step on it and I'm quite tall. And it has pockets. The best feature of any dress. So, that is a staple that is coming with me. Also from Torrid, I love like the button detail. Um, they're also pretty long and good for chafing. Oh, which reminds me. Somebody at Torrid put me onto this and it's been life changing if you have Chubro and it is um, called Silky Underwear from Lush. Game changer. Not an understatement, true game changer. So we're gonna take that just in case. I've seen a dupe at Walmart too that's super cute, but I just love the moon and the stars and the flowers. So that is going to be a choice. Um, I also have these super comfy jeans from Old Navy. They are the super skinny mid rise. Um, I gifted a pair to one of my friends. She absolutely loves it. Um, <laughs> Actually, no, she got the Rockstar, I lie. But the Rockstar from Old Navy are also really good. Um, but yeah, these are super comfortable. Coming from a non-jean person, I'd rather wear leggings every day of the week than ever have to wear jeans. But it never hurts to have a backup. Jeans. And then we'll do this shirt. Also, with possibly going to a pool, or I believe it's called Splash Lagoon, so I never really said where I'm going. Um, so we are doing a road trip from Ontario to, um, we're making our first night in Pennsylvania. Um, I believe that's the state. Uh, Erie, Pennsylvania specifically, just because they have like good shopping deals. Then we are going to Cleveland, Ohio to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, and then we're going back to, I believe it's Philadelphia um, in Pennsylvania. And then from there, we're driving all the way back to Ontario. Um, so it's just a road trip for the long weekend, but I thought it'd be fun to go and um, yeah, I'm just doing some sightseeing along the way. Um, but the main objective of the trip was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as the person I'm going with is absolutely in love with the Beatles and they have a Beatles exhibit, so it was very fitting. Um, anyways, I'm gonna take a cover up because, I don't know, just feels like I should. from Value Village. It's just a plain, simple skirt. Um, originally from Dahlia, never heard of it, but I'm gonna take this just in case too. 
um, it never hurts to have options. And then with that one, I'm going to take this simple purple top from Torrid because I don't know what else goes with stripes. take these Nike Pro shorts um, to wear underneath the skirt um, and the dress just in case. Um, I don't know, I always like wearing something underneath. And these ones I got from Plato's Closet. Now, I have some travel sized products that I'm going to take with me, but mainly for the night before we leave, um, just because they're convenient and I can just toss them and we're probably going to get more when we go to the hotels, so it never hurts. The last couple of things that I'm not putting into my suitcase is going to be well, I guess these ones can go. But I'm gonna pack some disposable face masks just because it is the States and I don't know what their protocols are. Um, and I'd rather be safe than sorry and not contract COVID while in the States. So I am going to be packing face masks in everything I'm taking. So my suitcase, um, I'm gonna take a purse with me and that's probably it. But. <laughs> and be sure to pack some in mine and some in the person that I'm going with so that we all have some. And then at home on me, I have this little um, important document holder. Um, so I'm gonna put like my passport, some currency, um, and probably the person I'm going with their passport as well, um, just so everything's kind of contained in one place. Um, and any kind of important documentation that we need for going across the border or coming back. Um, I plan on keeping my receipts in there too, and it'll probably stay in with my purchases up until we get to the border coming back, um, where I will more than likely have it on me as we need the passports to get back into our country. <laughs> so yeah, not much planning or behind the scenes I guess um, but this is a rather short trip so um, stay tuned because there is a possibility that there is another trip in the works um, coming up not not so like close but like 